one of the strongest, if not the strongest sectors of the Russian economy is energy, oil and gas. And we've talked a little bit about how the Western energy providers and companies uh, have been um, taking up against uh, actions against Russia, looking to sell their assets, et cetera. But I'm wondering, should the West cripple Russia's energy sector? Is that a good idea to do so? Well, I, I, so, so, so the main reason that we're doing any of this stuff is to deplete his resources so he doesn't have the finances to continue his military expansion. And therefore, if that's the objective, then we should cripple any resource he has that generates cash. And it's gonna be a hard, it's gonna be a tough balancing act because 40% of, of German households rely on Russian gas, 100% of Italian households, 100% of Austrian households. And so how, do, how, do, how does a country diversify away from, from that type of uh, exposure, that type of concentration? It doesn't happen. You can't, you can't make a decision and say, tomorrow we're going to buy gas from the Qataris. You need like ports and, and pipelines and all sorts of other stuff. And so you know, I, I think you know, he's kind of, uh, and he, he knew this, he kind of ha has us in a stranglehold, which is why the, the energy sector has been more or less left untouched. Now, I don't think that that's going to be a permanent situation. I think that now you're going to see massive, accelerated, strategic diversification going on. But, but for the most, for for the time being, you know, the lights will go out in Germany and Italy if if um, if they stop supplying gas. You know, I, I should point out that that the the likelihood of Russia stop supplying gas, stopping supplying gas, is relatively low, at least over a reasonable period of time, because that's where they get the money from. So. Right. You know, they, they, they might be able to like turn, you know, make Germans cold for a few weeks, but um, longer than a few weeks, uh, they're, they're, they quickly run out of money and they've already run out of money. 